what's up everybody welcome back to MK Motorsports today we are doing part one of the Detworks fuel system upgrade on the Silverado uh, part one is going to be the drop-in module the uh, Detworks 400 drop-in fuel pump module so what we're going to do is we're going to pull the old one out drop this new one in that being said we are working with fuels this one has E85 it's flammable combustible well ventilated area PPE don't smoke I don't know why I need to tell people that, but there's my uh, public service announcement. So, anyway, let's get this thing kicked off. So, as you can see, this is not a normal looking fuel pump module. Um, I'm, I actually have two lines that are coming out for supply off the two fuel pumps, and the factory supply line is actually my return from the rail. Uh, I've got a hot wire kit upgrade on this pump module and uh, that's kind of just the gist of it so this is not this is a little bit atypical from what you're going to see on normal uh, fuel pump module. easier said than done definitely comes to mind over this project so I don't know what the case was but this is the second time that I've seen that happen where the actual bucket does not come up through the tank 
Um, these are just inexpensive fuel pump modules that I bought off of like Amazon or eBay or something like that because I knew I was going to cut these up and drop in these big pumps. So I think they've swelled up and everything. And this one was only about six months old, so I don't know why it did that so fast. But for whatever reason, I guess E85 makes things swell. So anyway, uh, the tool that I use to pop the retaining ring off is a Matco Tools part number FTR730. This unit right here. Let's see if I can get the number. There it is, maybe. Oh well, lighting's terrible. But anyway, this is what I use to uh, pull this, pull the fuel, uh, excuse me, the fuel pump retaining ring off. I did run into an issue when I was trying to put it back on with the return line that's on the Detox module. Uh, it sticks up a little bit far and it doesn't really let this thing get down in the grooves and pop things off. Luckily, uh, positioned it the right way where it kind of straddled the, the fitting and it dropped in and it, it got it to pop into place. But all in all, outside of destroying my fuel pumps to get them out, putting the new ones in, everything was uh, pretty much straightforward. So um, stick around for part two, which I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be the surge tank install or if I'm going to go ahead and run the wiring and the uh, fuel lines. But all the same, I am going to have to run a couple of lines from the pump up into the uh, bed because that's where I'm probably going to end up having to mount that surge tank. I just don't have the real estate to put it in the uh, engine bay like I'd like. So we'll put that in, get the bed on, see what this thing actually looks like lowered. And uh, from there, you know, like I said, when I figure out what part two is going to be, so will you. So anyway, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I uh, appreciate everybody that is watching and does support me on this. So y'all guys have a good one. We'll catch you later on. See ya.